Hello children, it's Mrs Stevens is here again. We're going to use a story called Super Tato and we're going to use that story to think about maths. Here's my Super Tato character that I made. We've also made a PowerPoint with lots of ideas. Parents and carers, please pick out one or two ideas to suit you and your child. It is not necessary or expected to do all of it as there are ideas for children at all different levels and so it is important to choose one that is close to your child's comfort zone. If you start like that and then choose something that might stretch them a bit by asking questions that start with things like what if or how could you do that a different way or tell me how you work that out. Now we're going to read Super Tato. Some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Don't believe me? Then keep reading. It was night time in the supermarket and all was quiet. But crash, bang! Something had escaped from the freezer, something small and round and green. Something looking for trouble, big trouble. Help, help, cried Carrot. I'm stuck to the conveyor belt. Ah, cried Broccoli. Someone has drawn on my face. Hoof, cried Cucumber. Who was doing this? And was there anyone who could help these vegetables in distress? Super potato to the rescue! He used his super speed. He used his super strength. He used a flannel and some soapy water. I know who's behind this, said Super Tato. There's a pea on the loose. Oh no, not a pea, everyone gasped. Yes, a pea. But I'm out of the freezer now and I'm never going back. Mwah, ha, ha. And the evil pea ran off to commit more terrible crimes. Time for a dip, little veggies. That's enough, shouted Super Tato. He leapt towards the pea, but the pea popped out of his hands and vanished into thin air. Super Tato set out on a super search. He crept through the cakes. And he snuck up on the beans and then something caught his eye. The game's up, yelled Super Tato. Kapow! But the pea bounced out of reach and onto a trolley. Super Tato was just about to stop him with his super strength when the trolley crashed and he was thrown down into the icy depths of the freezer. Was this the end for Super Tato? <gasps> Not quite, but the pea was off his trolley and lying in wait. You're finished, Super Tato, he shrieked. But Super Tato summoned up all his strength and ran for it. The pea nearly had him at the beans and closed in on him at the cheese. He had him cornered at the cakes. So much for soup potato, screeched the pea. You're about to be mashed potato. Surely this was the end for soup potato. Not today, my friend, said soup potato. Gotcha. Oof, said the pea. Squelch, 
Oh yes, said Sue Potato. I set my trap and you fell for it. Or should that be in it? And he grinned a super grin. Sue Potato had saved the day. Take him away, he said. And the pea was marched back to the freezer where he belonged. This jelly tastes of pea, said Broccoli. And everybody laughed and cheered. So remember, folks, some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Maybe you'd better go and check your freezer, just in case there's an escapee in your house. The end.